I just spent $182 at Trader Joe's. I would coin this a mostly healthy Trader Joe's haul. I'm Natasha on Natasha's List and I go shopping at Trader Joe's every single week to help you shop at Trader Joe's. I did to get some new items and then I got some items that are throwbacks from way in the past. So let's jump into this haul. Let me show you what I got. We will sample some of the new items also. And please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a ton. And which bag should we start with? I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna jump into this bag first. Um, I will be traveling again and so I have to go into these trips prepared because the last thing I want to do is get sick. The last thing I want to do is get sick. So I just took the BNU Propolis spray with me to Mammoth Mountain and let me tell you, one of the nights I woke up in the middle of the night and my throat was getting sore and I was like, this is not happening. I'm going on a full snowboarding trip tomorrow. Sprayed this in the middle of the night, woke up and I was so much better. So it's a propolis spray, has 6% pure propolis. That's what bees use to line their hive and it acts as their immune system. And it works for our immune system too. I promise this stuff is legit. It works really well. Has menthol in it, so it has like a funky taste, but if you can get past that, you will absolutely love this stuff. And then I picked up a propolis shot as well too, just to double down. And this has vitamin C, D3, zinc, propolis extract, juice, and raw honey. These things are awesome. I keep mine in the fridge. I know you don't have to, that's where I keep mine. Okay, is it too soon for dill pickle chips to be back? These are like, these are back. I mean, this is, whoa, I almost spilled my coffee. Not my coffee, my tea. Um, is it too soon for the dill pickle chips to be back? I'm so excited. Look at this chip. Boom. Also, I feel the bag is getting smaller. It's filled in here though. So maybe it has the same amount. It's just a better use of space. These are so good. Do you know what I'm gonna put this in? My sandwich. Oh. Those are so freaking yummy. Um, this is a new item. Organic Darjeeling, Darjeeling green tea. I love that Trader Joe's is leaning into the organic teas. If there's one thing, I mean like berries, you want those to be organic. Tea, you want those to be organic. Because you're seeping it in water and then you're drinking it. So if there's like pesticides or whatever crap they spray on things and then you like sip it. No, no, no. This is organic Darjeeling green tea. Um, and is considered by many to be the finest tea in the world. It's grown in the Eastern Himalayas. I'm really excited to try that. I love green tea. Right now I'm back on like, I was on cold brew in the summer and now I'm making my like tea concoction in the morning. So I'll definitely incorporate that in. Um, I'm very excited. So I picked up a couple of bags of fruit balls. And one thing I noticed about the fruit balls, there's another one in here, I swear. Um, I'll find it, is they changed their recipe. So it's got a new recipe and it contains hazelnut and almonds. So that's really excited if you're like a fruit ball fan. These things are great. They're plant-based, super clean ingredients. Dates, peanut butter, coconut, peanut, cashew, cocoa butter, natural flavors, and pink salt. Um, these are, I'm actually donating to my friend because they love peanut butter and I can't have peanut butter, but on their website, you guys can get fruit balls with almond butter and those are the ones I get. Also, if you're Whole30, remember peanuts are legumes. So you can't have peanut butter, but they, if you do love fruit balls and you get the ones with almond butter or cashew butter, those you can have because they're Whole30 approved. Fun, fun fact. Um, I picked up more of the marinated artichoke carts on the go. These are delicious. I put these in the refrigerator next to all my dark chocolate. And the reason I do that is like when I go in to grab a snack of like dark chocolate covered almonds, sometimes I'll be like, are you hungry? Do you actually want chocolate or do you just want some sustenance? If I just want sustenance, these are delicious. They're so good. I feel like they work for a palate that also likes pickles and like sauerkraut. I do more pickles. Some people don't like sauerkraut. I'd say they're more like pickly, but they do have vinegar in them. So that's that's kind of my point. Um, oh yeah, so don't forget, I picked up some hyacinths. These are amazing. They make your house smell so, so good. Like once you put them into a vase and you let them like sit for a couple days, you're gonna walk in like, what is that wonderful smell? Hyacinths, really, really great. Um, this should make everyone very happy. Automatic dishwasher detergent packets. 
I know what you're thinking, these aren't new, but Trader Joe's listens and they're reducing their plastic. So they used to come in like a plastic bag. Now they're coming in this little like paper carton box. So that's exciting. These work really, really well. I have a flatware line, which is the gold flatware and the, the gold plating on it will stay if you use the, the dishwasher detergent free and clear from Trader Joe's because it's like not harsh. Um, and I always recommend people hand wash unless you're gonna use these. If you use like an abrasive dishwasher detergent, something you find at like Bonds or Albertsons, um, be careful because those have a lot of solvents and it'll eat away at whatever coating is on your nice silverware or like my flatware. I picked up some blackberries. Now I do want to wash these. I will wash these. 100% going to wash these because these, um... oh, actually I got the organic ones. Yay, I was looking for these and I couldn't find them and I guess what, they were right in my hand. So I highly recommend these blackberries. They looked so good. The raspberries didn't look great for me today. I just want to show you how nice these look. Like really, really yummy. So yummy. I don't even know if I like that word yummy. Sometimes I just say it and I'm like, it's like the word tummy. I don't say tummy, but I, I also don't say the word yummy. Okay, this is a fun item because back when I first started going to Trader Joe's, I used to buy these dark chocolate power berries all the time. I mean, they sound a lot healthier than they actually are. They do have like a lot of sugar added, but they're dark chocolate. There's like whole milk powder. There's butter fat in them, but they're so freaking delicious. And if you guys recall, I have like a phase with the, the previous rest in peace item at Trader Joe's called Amped Up Almonds. And they had like this type of glaze on it. Mmm. Well, you are really good. Eight pieces though, 130. Um, calories and 18 grams of sugar. I'm gonna take these like before I go on a bike ride. You know, I'm a big advocate of eating healthy and then also having treats in moderation. It's like an 80 20 rule for me. 80% of the time, I'm doing pretty good. And then I allow myself some grace and like enjoy treats, but these are delicious. Dark chocolate, they're made from the juices of acai, pomegranate, cranberry, and blueberry. Apparently it has 25% of your daily value of vitamin C per serving. Mm. They're so good. These are definitely gonna go in the fridge next to these. <laughs> okay. mm. Some sumo oranges. Sumo citrus, absolutely love these things. I buy two a week. Um, they have them in the bag as well. I opt to pick them out by hand because, oh my gosh, I've talked about my mouth. Um, I find you can like select better ones. When you get them in the bag, they're pre-selected. And some people have said that they've been getting like tart or sour oranges, um, or sorry, citrus. <laughs> so when you hand select them, what I look for is it's kind of like a bigger top like this, this little top, make sure you get a bigger top. Um, and it just screenshot this one. <laughs> this is the perfect one. They're not too firm. Um, they're pretty much, there's not a lot of green on them, but they're all orange. They're delicious. But if, if you get the ones in the baggies, which I was looking at today, they don't have the big knob on the top. And that's always a no-no for me. Um, I picked up another organic lentil vegetable soup. These are great when you're on the go at home. Like not on the go, like you're going to eat it in your car while you're driving, but it's so quick and easy to make. Throw it in a, bowl, in a bowl, throw it in a saucepan, heat it up. I always add a little bit more spinach. Sometimes I'll add a bit of um, like chicken or bone broth to it just to make it a little bit more protein dense. It's so good. It's absolutely delicious and it's all organic. These things are the best. It's like a couple bucks. I haven't bought these in forever either. Um, these are like the fruit bars from Trader Joe's. I got the apple and strawberry fruit bar. I picked up the organic mango fruit bar. Which other ones? I got a couple of, and then apple strawberry again, and then apple mango. I want to try the apple strawberry. I eat these when I go on bike rides because again, it's, it's dry fruit, but it's just sugar. Apples, strawberries, those are the only ingredients. And let's see, total sugar is 13 grams. But when you're working out, if you're going on a run, you're going on a hike, this is the best type of fuel because it's just straight sugar and it goes into your bloodstream, gives you the energy you need. Mm. Oh, it's really healthy too. They're vegan and they're raw. So good. So good. You can see like the chops in it. Mm. I was just telling you about how I add bone broth to the soup. Well, this is the bone broth that I get. 
Um, one cup has 10 grams of protein. And then if you have the whole container, it's 21 grams of protein. Um, 630 milligrams of sodium in this entire thing. It's 300 milligrams in one cup. I feel like this has less sodium than the actual <clears throat> the bone broth that you find in the refrigerator. So I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. What else have I picked up? Oh, I'm going to make, listen, hear this out. I'm going to make homemade Nutella. So I saw that Trader Joe's has these organic hazelnuts. They're dry roasted and unsalted. But I'm, I like looked up a recipe online. And I was like, mm. so I looked at it and then I'm going to modify it using Trader Joe's ingredients. So I got the organic hazelnuts. They separated things in the bag, so we're gonna have to go back to that one. I picked up a couple more no macro bars. I get those every week, and then the fruit balls, also another one. So this is again with the new recipe. Um, it now has the additional, yeah, it contains peanuts and coconut. Oh, which dates, peanuts, coconut, apple juice, pear puree, strawberry puree, all the berries, pink, salt. These are so yummy. This is the peanut butter and jelly, and then this is the caramel chocolate the caramel chocolate peanut butter that's the one with the new ingredients but what is your favorite fruit ball caramel chocolate peanut butter or peanut butter and jelly then we picked up another artichoke heart to put next to the chocolate in the fridge oh another bar apple mango these are really really good the sample that okay trader joe's is a great place to get cards they're 99 cents each and if you're like me and you totally don't have to be like me, but I love giving cards and writing notes. It's just, it's like an outdated form of communication that I think is cute and I love it. And so Trader Joe's, they just have great options. So sometimes when I go in, if I see that's fully stocked, I'll grab a, like five or six cards. And then I have them forever. I'm like, oh shoot, I've got a birthday party to run to or a friend's not feeling well. There's always a card to give them. I picked up a couple acerola cherry juice shots. You've heard me talk about these probably ad nauseum, but I swear they're delicious. They work. Um, they help boost your immune system. Vitamin C, 1,010% per shot. So drink a quarter to a half a day or a full one. Um, and vitamin C also helps your body in the formulation of collagen. It helps your body better absorb iron. Vitamin C is your friend. It's not a water-soluble vitamin. No, it is a water-soluble vitamin. So whatever your body like your body can't recreate it so you have to get it from external sources and this is cold pressed juice which is just about as good as getting it straight from the berries themselves um each one has a three two grams of sugar and it's just what does it say 12 acerola cherries per shot it's like a little tart i think it tastes more like a kiwi love it i felt like getting myself a treat today i got the dark chocolate almond butter cups we're gonna try what I know, just because it sounds delicious. Kind of always wait, but I know we're gonna do it now. There we go. Oh, these are fun. They, you would think it has like a little wrapper on it, but it doesn't. But just, mmm, mmm. These are so good. If I have too much sugar, I have to take a nap. Wow. These are delicious. I should probably put these next to the artichoke parts. Mm -mm -mm. Green goddess seasoning, one of my favorites. Favorite, favorite seasonings. I use it on fish a lot. You can also use it on chicken. And then you can also use it in your dressings. If you're going to make like a olive oil dressing, you can put this in it. It's really, really tasty. What's your favorite seasoning at Trader Joe's? That thought occurred to me when I was looking at the rack. I was like, what is everyone's favorite seasoning? Remember when everything but the bagel seasoning was what everyone was talking about? Picked up some more citrus, two limes, and a lemon. The limes I'm going to use to make cilantro lime cauliflowers. Really yummy. And the lemon, I find a way to use lemon in like salad dressings and hot water. I just use it. Okay, and then I picked up vanilla bean paste. I'm going to use this in my homemade Nutella recipe. And then I also picked up some yellow lentil and brown rice pasta, which I will go through this next bag, which is more of like produce and refrigerated. And I'm going to make a dinner where it's brown rice, sorry, the, the yellow lentil and brown rice pasta. I love this one because there's a lot of protein. 
I'm gonna use green beans, peas, and the pesto sauce. Delicious. You can also add in like a little bit of um, the chicken sausage if you want a bit more protein. I got this recipe from my friend and I promise you it's so, so, so good. Sweet potatoes, I'm craving them again. I like to skin them, chop them up into like little pieces, olive oil, sea salt, and then I air fry them 400 degrees for like 10 to 15 minutes, flipping halfway through. It's a really nice little snack. It's also a really, really nice uh, side dish too. You can make like a little vegetable bowl or, or just like a little bowl for lunch where you do a little bit of sweet potatoes. You can put some peas in, some lettuce, your choice of protein. Here's a good one. Um, here's the cauliflower rice, which I will be making cilantro lime cauliflower rice with. Um, and whenever you make cilantro lime cauliflower rice, heat the cauliflower first with a couple tablespoons of olive oil and sea salt in a pan. And then add the, once you start seeing like the cauliflower bits will get a little bit translucent, that's when you start to add in the cilantro and then add the lime juice at the very end. It just gives it a, like a really bright flavor. Let's sample some cheese. Jersey Gouda Dutch Gouda cheese. This is the Trader Joe's Spotlight cheese. Let me get my little cutting board and my little knife. I'm actually excited about the order I've sampled everything today because chocolate and cheese, in my opinion, go really well together. And I love Gouda. I wish I could tell you more about this Gouda, but it is made from cow. The milk of Jersey cows. The Jersey cows, it'd be like the Jersey Shores, but just like using cows instead of people. <laughs> okay. okay. My brain, where does it go sometimes? Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. So it's most Gouda I've had is a little bit firmer. This is like a bit softer, like not really spreadable, but definitely like much softer. Mmm. It's a bit sharper. The thing is, I don't, I don't believe it's an aged Gouda. Okay. It's softer. It's really nice. Um, I bet this would melt really well on a sandwich. Um, it's a little bit sharper. Dare I say grassy, um, but really good. It's just softer. I'm, I wasn't expecting that. I'm used to aged Gouda. Cilantro for the cilantro lime rice. The green beans for the pasta dish. Um, and then I want to sample one of these overnight oats, almond butter, and chia seeds. I also saw that they have a peanut butter version as well, which I'm not going to get the peanut butter one, but I do want to sample this. This is like a fun little healthy plant-based snack. Um, overnight oats are actually really, really, I'm going to use my little tiny spoon. These are like the, the flatware set that I was telling you guys that I, I have. I sell it um, and I can link it. But this is like the gold color. And if you use an abrasive dishwasher detergent, it's not gonna stay because it's not real gold, obviously. But if you use like a gentle one, like the Trader Joe's, I've had these for years, still gold. Okay, back to the overnight oats, almond butter with chia. So overnight oats are quite easy to make, but like anything, there's a convenience factor when it's just done for you. Mmm. I like that, you know why? It's not too sweet. It is. How much sugar is in this? It says 13 grams of sugar. I honestly don't taste it. And the reason why is the sugar is coming from the dates. There's water, almond butter, rolled oats, dates, chia seeds, and sea salt. That is it. So a really nice, clean, mm, clean item. That's good. And I can really taste the almond butter. Those are really good. I bought these before in the past. They weren't that good. And I don't remember them having chia seeds in them. I do like that. Non-dairy oat cream or brown sugar. This stuff is fire on its own. It's got a lot of sugar. I'm not using it for coffee. I'm going to use it in the Nutella. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to try it. And if it works out well, we're all going to have to try making it together. I picked up some sugar plum grape tomatoes. Remember, don't put your tomatoes in the fridge. Keep them out on the counter. That will keep them riper, tasting better. If you put them in the fridge, it changes the molecular structure on the inside and then they don't taste as good keep them out like when you see the way you see grocery store set out products that's what you should put in your house like potatoes in a dark place these peas i found them in the fridge so they're going in the fridge but then how i'm going to use these terracotta just the english peas yeah the english peas i'm going to use them in the pasta dish i mentioned earlier pasta dish 
green beans. Oh, and you can see it at the top. Here it is. And then I'm gonna use the vegan kale pesto. It's a really, really good, tasty, tasty dish. It's so good. And it's like, what? I didn't know what I was gonna make for dinner tonight. And I was like, Ugh. also, I wanted to say what I made for dinner last night. The new pulled pork, remember a couple weeks ago, we bought the smoked pulled chicken and the smoked pulled pork. I made the smoked pulled pork last night. It's really, really good. And I cooked it in the oven to reduce my nanoplastic intake. <laughs> And um, yeah, it actually is really, really, really good. It's shredded nicely. It's got a nice smoky flavor. It makes a lot though. So like once you cook it, it was just me here last night and I was like, oh, so much food. So I have it in the fridge to eat. Um, I picked up more japchae. I was very excited about these. And you guys, I love these. I eat them like every week. It's Korean sweet potato glass noodles and a vegetable stir fry. It's so good. I always add a little bit of the brown beach, beach mushrooms. I'll add some spinach. I forgot to pick up bell peppers. That's always how it goes. Like you're looking at stuff and you're like, oh, da, da, da. and then you realize you forgot something. We're gonna heat this up right now. This is the new chicken lentil caramelized onion peel up. I have seen mixed reviews on this. Um, yeah, very mixed reviews. Empty contents of bag into a microwave safe dish and cover. Heat on high for three minutes. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna microwave this for three minutes. Um, is that the best bowl to use? So the reviews have been mixed. People have said it's like not good. Other people said they love it. Whoa, you can smell. What is that? You can definitely smell the onions. The, um, what is that? What am I smelling? Um, golden dates. Ground cinnamon. Oh, it's cumin. You definitely smell the cumin. Okay. Let's see, so we put it in a microwave safe dish and we're gonna microwave it and we have to cover it. What should I cover it with, just like a plate? On high for three minutes. I'm just gonna cover it with a plate. That's the only thing I can think of to do. Okay, three minutes. And we're live. Okay, I picked up a little bit of chicken breast. I still have some leftover from last week. This is just my go-to right now. Organic chicken breast, water, organic potato starch, and sea salt. It's tasty, it's delicious. Turkey makes me a little tired. I'm weirded out by meat that makes you tired. It's like it's getting its vengeance once you eat it. Um, cocoa powder, we're gonna use this cocoa powder with the Nutella, the Nutella experiment. So the, the hazelnuts, the cocoa powder, the non-dairy creamer. I'm gonna use some sea salt, the organic vanilla bean paste. We're gonna use that. Um, where is the others? Um, this salmon's so delicious. Have you guys tried this? It's in the frozen section. Atlantic salmon, skin on and boneless with lemon herb butter. Okay, so this is farm-raised salmon. And a lot of people get like crazy about farm-raised salmon. Like there's 8 billion people on this planet. If we all wanna eat the fish in the ocean, consider farm-raised fish and then consider that there are places that have really good farming practices like Norway and if you look at the back of this Norwegian farm-raised salmon if you're going to eat farm-raised anything make sure it's from Norway they have like the best strictest standards you guys can read about it Norway fish farms do not look like the ones that are like people like use the fear-mongering stuff on like Instagram and they show these like dark scary like pits where the fish are like eating each other's crap. In Norway, they're in like, they're in the ocean. They're in like these huge, huge nets in the ocean and it's gorgeous. If I was a farm-raised fish, that is where I'd wanna live. That fish is delicious, I can promise you. If you read into farm-raised fish, it's not as bad as the internet makes it look. Um, and there's eight billion people and we're gonna out, we're gonna eat everything in the ocean. So we might as well do our part and then just like get better practices for the farm-raised fish because the meat we eat is farm-raised, like most things we eat are farm-raised. My spiel is done, but that salmon is bomb. Okay, grilled chicken rice and veggies meal. This I haven't had yet. I appreciate that it's like in the form of if you want it, it's like, how can I say this? It's like it's, um, it's pre-packaged for you. It's made it easy. If you don't have time to meal prep, this is the way to go. Um, it looks pretty good, pretty clean. There's olive oil in it. Let's see, chicken breast, rice, rice medley, um, garlic powder, turmeric, a little bit of, let's see, there's a little bit of canola oil, a little bit of red wine vinegar, some natural flavor. I mean, it's not like 100% the best, cleanest meal in the world, 
but it is still good. It's 360 calories, 43 grams of protein in this. It's a good value, great value. I'm excited because sometimes I'm on the go. And that's all I want to eat. How much time? Seven. We've got five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go get this out. And we're going to do the taste test. Okay. Let's see. Just make sure it's not too hot. Wow, it's really shrank down. Okay, let's just scooch this right there. I, when I saw this online, it looked so delicious. The caramel, the, sorry, the chicken, lentil, and caramelized onions. Um, I have a lot of friends who are Persian. Some, I, some of them call themselves Iranian. Um, I've gone to a lot of Persian Iranian restaurants and I, I love Persian food. So I am going to try this. It does have, what are the green lentils? Let's give this, okay, I can see the dates. There are raisins. That was one of the comments. People were like, nope. Once there is raisins and dates added to the rice. I think it looks really good. Hold on, I just want to mix it up. I don't want to burn my mouth. This is what we're trying. This is what we are trying. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> It's a little sweet. There's a little kick, a little bit of, um, there's black pepper. With the sweetness, there is like a touch of cinnamon. You know, given that it says uh, it's caramelized, caramelized onion, I don't taste a lot of onion. I do taste the lentils, um, the lentils and the uh, dates. Okay. I mean, I would give this like a, Seven out of 10, it's not bad. I think it'd be a really nice side dish. And there's 29 grams of protein in the entire bag. And in one serving, which is one and a half cups frozen, a one cup heated, 13 grams of protein. So I do like that. I'm all about protein. Well, I'm really hungry right now because I'm just gonna keep eating up. Um, that was this week's haul, $182. The new items were the cheese, Spotlight cheese, um, what else did we pick up? Um, the Peruse balls with the new recipe, new recipe, that's why they're new. Um, the dishwasher detergent in the new package. What else is new? Um, I don't think the overnight oats are new, but did they always have chia seeds in them? I don't know. And then we also can welcome back chips and a pickle. And then um, organic Darjeeling green tea, that is also new items. And there are some more new items coming. I think Trader Joe's just takes a little break because after pumpkin season to now it's like chaos so this is it let me know what your guys' favorite items are thank you guys for checking out my channel i do this every single week for like the last 10 years i go to trader joe's shop and give you guys reviews i am the og trader joe's food reviewer so if you made it this far thanks for following me on instagram stick around i'm gonna chat with you guys for a little bit and we can talk more about the food youtube i'll see you next week bye